I spent two thousand dollars on a marketing course and I got nothing as specific as what you just told me Joshua that's what I just heard from a new freelance writer I had a conversation with she decided to join my new course the best way to say it which is the complete persuasion system you can use for your own content or you can use on behalf of your clients it is the first and only system that completely circumvents writer's block gut instinct the muse to make sure that even if you're not feeling it you can sit down and crank out an incredibly attractive enticing search engine optimized article email newsletter social media blog post whatever links below get in there now what was this piece of advice that i gave to this freelance writer that was worth two thousand dollars to her i'm gonna give it to you right now she asked me joshua i'm relaunching my career i raised my family for 11 years now what do i do and she said that she joined this course to kind of learn about blogging and google analytics and all this sort of stuff but the two thousand dollar program did not cover how to get your first clients when you don't have a portfolio we don't have a website we don't got jack diddlum sasquatch so you know what i told her i'm going to give this same advice to you that to her was worth more than two thousand dollars let's do this here's what you do the example i'm going to give you is a subscription based industry so there are a thousand and one different types of subscription products you've probably heard of harry's you know the subscription uh, you know, razor company you get the new razor blades you get the, the the shaving cream right there's you know vegan jerky subscription you get you get new like mushroom based uh tasty jerky sent to you every week or every month right different subscription uh in, uh, products like that well there's this whole industry that is about giving advice to subscription business entrepreneurs whether your subscription product is shaving cream or it's food or booze of some sort let's say that for whatever reason you want to write for subscription-based businesses you want to be a copywriter for their emails for their social media posts for their landing pages for the white papers whatever right you've got your sights set on that here's what you're going to do you're going to look up the tony robbins of subscription entrepreneurship by that i mean someone who is looked up to as the god or the kind of idolized as the go-to expert or guru in the space of subscription-based entrepreneur um you know uh, products so who is that person here's what you're going to do you're going to get on their newsletter list you're going to go look at their blog post you're going to go look at their podcasts and you're going to look for where they tell their audience what to create to grow their business are they telling them to create eight new Instagram posts a day? Are they telling them that they need to launch their own podcast? Are they telling them to create a really hyper cool, flexed out funnel with all sorts of automations and all that sort of stuff that their audience has not even half a clue how to do themselves? Their inability to execute the guru's advice is your opportunity. I mean, come on, these people are business owners. They don't got time for that crap. This is where you come in. You're following the guru now. You're looking at the actual people who are commenting on, replying to, liking, sharing, retweeting, or otherwise demonstrating engagement with the guru's content, their article, their blog, their podcast, their video, whatever, in which they give that advice. So let's take, um, the Acme Jerky Company. Acme Jerky Company, their founder, responds to the Tony Robbins of Subscription Entrepreneurship's new podcast, in which it's all about seven ways to leverage Instagram to get new subscription customers for your business. Okay? And one of those things, one of those seven tips, is to create some sort of decked out automation funnel for different types of products they're interested in. And the founder of the Acme Jerky Company responds to that and a little comment, this is totally great advice. Wish I had the time to do it. I hope I have time to do it someday. This is amazing. You are seeing that person's plight as their profit. Here's what you do. You wander through to their profile, Facebook, Twitter, LinkedIn, Instagram, don't care, whatever. You then find out the best way to contact them. This is not about spamming. This is about helping. Okay, here's what you do. 
you reach out to them. You say, hey, I saw that you also follow the Tony Robbins of subscription entrepreneur guruship. And then what do you do? You say, Tony recommended that subscription-based entrepreneurs, such as the Acne Vegan Jerky Company, whatever, um, and then you literally verbatim copy and paste exactly what the guru told them to do. It sets the funnel, that's eight social media posts on Instagram a day, whatever. And you put that in there. And then you say, hey, I, I noticed that you hadn't set that up yet because I subscribed to your email newsletter list. You know, got your coupon, it's like your first email looked really cool. And then you say something as simple as, would you like help with that? I do that sort of thing for entrepreneurs like you. You're not pitching, you're not spamming, you are offering to help. Now, what's probably going to happen? You don't need millions of people to say yes. You don't need even tens of thousands or even hundreds of people to do this. You only need a dozen, a couple dozen, three, four dozen people to do this with. And all you need is someone who sees the value of Tony's advice, not even you if you're just starting out. It's not about you. It's about the guru's advice that they have given to create this, this automated funnel, this marketing system, these social media posts, whatever. It's their advice you're helping them follow. You're selling them advice they're already sold on. It's the execution. That's the problem. And you come in and you fill that gap with your content or your graphics or your software or your automation or your programming or whatever it is that you can offer. This is how you get your first clients. If no one has ever heard of who you are, you're just starting out or you're getting back into the workforce after 11 years, like the freelancer I talked to. Now, what happens if they say, well, can I see your portfolio first? Well, here's what you do. Before you reached out to them, you went over and then you created the exact asset, even if it's a simple mock-up of it. You put it on Instagram, you put it on LinkedIn, you put it on your blog, you've uploaded it to Google Drive or Dropbox inside the cloud. Okay, it doesn't gotta be sophisticated. You take that bad boy and then you share it with him and said, hey, I can do something like this for you. Of course, making sure it's beautiful, putting your best foot forward. And it's like, oh, okay, great. You don't need some super duper sophisticated portfolio like the $2,000 course said you need. You need to have a dress to the nines portfolio and resume CV cover letter to show people you know what you're talking about. That's the loser's game. Okay, don't play the loser's game, play to win. Then once the people you've reached out to say, oh my freaking G, I need you to do for me what I've been told to do by the Tony Robbins of Vegan Jerky, subscription product, you know what I'm talking about. And then they say, how does that work? How do you create, how does your process look? And then what you do is you say, well, I'm actually a user of a system called the best way to say it, which is the world's first and only persuasion system designed to consistently produce high quality, maximally persuasive, easy to read, search engine optimized content every single time, whatever it is. So my writing process, Mr. Customer, Miss Prospect, Mrs. Lee, is not to sit down and crank out something that doesn't sound like you at all. I'm going to interview you. I'm going to take the notes of our conversation, run it through this simple two-step system that produces excellent content every single time, and you're going to be freaking wowed by the result. The best way to say it as a system has been tested and proven across thousands of pieces of content, hundreds of different industries, and hundreds of different clients. I expect you to be impressed. Congratulations. That sound you just heard is a cash register going off. That is their credit card being loosed from its wallet. Dare I say, credit card, thou art loosed to pay you, a new freelancer, so I'm just getting into the industry for this first time, how to go about getting your first big money clients. And while you're on your way to implementing my advice, make sure you get the best way to say it, which is the second part of your pitch. Once you've convinced people that you can help them, you can explore the process of you using the best way to say it as a system so that they will trust you, hire you, and you can run all the way to the bank to me to say thank you because this advice actually worked.